Gimme Ghoul is quite a rare Pokemon, and I know a lot of people want to evolve him, but finding the chests can be quite difficult. So I thought I'd compile a, you know, a quick video of every single chest location. And I'm gonna be going along as well, so I'm gonna quickly sell all of my Gimme Ghoul coins. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way to Medali. Yes, okay, this guy should give us some Gimme Ghoul coins. 28, okay. And later on, he'll he'll also um, hold on to coins. If, if you have too many, if you already have 999 uh, and you want to collect more, then that guy will hold on to them for you. At the very beginning of the game, as you make your way up to Poco Path, the lighthouse right here, you can head a bit north and there should be, oh, right up there, you can actually see him. Right, this Gimmigal chest. Gimmigal chests will give you around 30 to 60 coins, I think. Sometimes it'll it'll drop around 100, and very rarely it can drop 777. I believe it's a 0.1% chance it will give you 777 coins. That didn't catch, really? Okay. As I was saying, we're going to catch this Gimmigal, uh, and throughout the course of the video, we're going to evolve him. So, you know, I, I can prove that there's obviously... What, are you kidding, really? So... Oh my... Dude, <laughs> dude, what? That's a critical capture. Yeah, there we go, okay. As I was saying, we're going to evolve this guy. To prove it works, you need exactly 999 coins, and then uh, Gimmigal will evolve. That guy gave us 50. 50 Gimmigal coins. Let's just give this guy a, a random... Uh, entirely innocuous name. Also, if this guide helps, you can you can subscribe too. <coughs> just just saying. I made a sandwich for this, uh, an item drop level one ghost sandwich, just to test if it work, and it does not work. I'm well, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Also, getting anything over level one, you'll probably need Herba Mystica, and that's really not worth it. Uh, the next one's up here, the South Province Area Four Watchtower. A level 15 gimmick. Well, you can just kill it. I, you can either kill it or you can catch it. Either way, you'll get the coins. That guy will give us 50 coins. Next up is this South Province Area 2 Watchtower, right by Cortondo. You'll see this Watchtower immediately as soon as you step out the west gate of Mesa Goza. Okay, this guy isn't here for me because I've, I've killed him before and he's just not respawned. But if you've not, de if you've not defeated him before, he will be here. Trust me, pinky promise. The next one I think is around over here. It's, it, it's one of the wonders of Paldea. It's called the Leaking Tower of Paldea. Maybe a little difficult to get up there if you don't have... Is that shiny? Wait. Oh my God. Okay, I was looking for a shiny flittle. <laughs> that's cool, that's really cool. As I was saying, it might be a little difficult to get here if you don't have a bunch of the upgrades, but as you can see, he will be here. I should also mention a few of these higher level Gimme Ghouls, I think they're around level 60, this guy's level 40. Even if your Pokemon are like level 20, you shouldn't worry too much, because I believe the only attacking move they have uh, is Astonish, and that does not do a lot. He'll give us 30 Gimme Ghoul coins. Okay. Yes, this one is the West Province Area 1 Watchtower, right south of uh, Kaskarafa. Right next to the Watchtower as well is, a, is some ruins, and there's a smaller Gimme Ghoul here too. I got four coins, that's actually quite lucky from, from a roaming. I'd say it's definitely worth picking those little guys up. Uh, there's like a small chance you can get 100 or 200, I think. But there's no, there's not really any point, you know, going out of your way to find each single one. There we go. There we go. Ghoul. There we, there we go. That's my new catchphrase. And that guy will give us 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. Nice. The next one is actually right by here. It's up here in the Asado Desert. This is another one that I think uh, is pretty much impossible to get if you don't have climbing or gliding. There will be a little Gimme Ghoul waiting for you. This guy is level 20 and he's gonna give me 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. The next one is also in Asado Desert. You can see here there's a bunch of ruins. The uh, chest Gimme Ghoul will be around here somewhere. I think I've killed him before though and he's not respawned yet. Oh, I should mention the re how the respawning works. Respawning, uh, the, ch the chest form Gimme Ghoul, I I think they have a 50% chance to respawn each day. Well, there is, in fact, a roaming form Gimme Ghoul here. So, you know, worth picking that up. 10 coins, well, that's lucky. This next one is also right next to Asado Desert, right here on these little islands, I guess. This does look to be another one I've already killed though that hasn't respawned. I, believe me, they do respawn. I promise they do respawn. Next up is the Castle Royal Watchtower number one. This guy's level 50, one of the, the higher level ones, but you know, like I said, he only knows Astonish. This guy will drop us 10 Gimme Ghoul coins. That's actually really unlucky. Just north uh, east of here, there's some ruins over there. I believe that's the next location for the Gimme Ghoul chest. Okay, I, I think you're pretty used to me saying this by now, but I think this guy has not respawned spawned yet. That's just how it is, I suppose. Let's move on to Casa Royal Watchtower number two. This guy, once again, level 50. 
only knows Astonish, so it's fine. And he's gonna give us 10 Gimme Gold Coins. Uh, dude, there is obviously a bit of a trend here. The next one is a uh, Castle Royal Watchtower number three. Okay, this guy has once again not respawned, but it's fine because this next one, pretty simple. It's right up here by the Sokarat Trail. This is also right by uh, one of the shrines. So I mean, if you're looking for the legendary Pokemon, in the middle of doing this gimme Hunter, hunt, uh, there you go. Oh, uh, here it is, there we go. There should be a gimme waiting right for you. Another level 50, but once again, only knows Astonish. I need to quick stop saying that, it's getting very repetitive, but either way, this little guy's gonna give us 80 gimme Ghoul coin. Right by this river, you go a slight bit north and there's a gimme Ghoul chest right around here. He's not respawned yet, but that's fine, because our next one is just north of area zero, I believe right here, right by a Dali Zappa passage, which take him down with one flame thrower and he will drop 50 gimme Ghoul coins. The next one is the Glaciado Mountain Watchtower. This is another level 35 gimme Ghoul, but it's fine. He's gonna drop 60 Gimme Ghoul coins. Another watchtower, this is North Province Area 1. You'll see two other watchtowers here, but you'll need to climb up the taller one, which is this one. Once again, level 50, goes down to a single flamethrower, and he drops 30 Gimme Ghoul coins. And just a bit southwest, you can see some ruins over here. That should house the next Gimme Ghoul. There's also a roaming form Gimme Ghoul. So you can collect that quickly, we get three coins from him. There is also another roaming form just up here. Oh, I missed. So, you know, that guy's worth collecting as well. One Gimme Ghoul coin. It's better than nothing. I have a feeling everyone knows what I'm going to say, but this one has not respawned for me yet. Just a bit further south, and you'll see this little area here. There should be a Gimme Ghoul right in the center. There is also a TM for Swords Dance if you if you really need that. This guy's another level 50, but once again, it's fine. He will drop 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. Just a bit further south, and you'll find the East Province Area 3 Watchtower. Okay, this guy hasn't respawned yet either. Just southwest of Lavincia, right over here, there's another Gimme Ghoul. Another lower level one, level 15. Uh, it'll go down with a flamethrower and it'll drop 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. Just north of Asado Desert, there's another Gimme Ghoul right around here. Just over that way is uh, Porta Marinada. You go inside this, uh, I think it's called Colonnade Hollow. And the Gimme Ghoul will be right over there. You can just see him shaking. Dude's gonna drop once again. He's gonna give us 60 Gimme Ghoul coins. Just south of Lavincia is the East Province Area 1 watchtower. And this guy hasn't respawned either, but he jumped down to the next lower floor. There should be a roaming Gimme Ghoul. And he'll give you one Gimme Ghoul coin. Next up is South Province Area 3. This is another level 10 one. I believe it's just east of, of when you leave Mesa Goza, so, you know, this is another easy one to catch. Early on the way, and we get 10 Gimme Ghoul coins for it. Just south is uh, South Province Area 5 Watchtower, <laughs> which, look at that, hasn't respawned yet. But I believe that is the final Gimme Ghoul chest. We are on 687. Keep in mind, I did miss out, like, half of them. It's about 300 coins off, which is about six chests missing. And I definitely have more than six chests that hadn't respawned yet. So I'm 100% I'm confident. If you follow this guide, you'll more than likely be able to evolve your Gimme Ghoul. Ah, here it is. Here, here is my Gold Dengar. I can actually add this Gimme Ghoul to my living decks. And for now, here is what your Gimme Ghoul will look like when it's fully evolved. A lot of people, a lot of people aren't a big fan of uh, Gold Dengar, but I am. I love Gold Dengar. What, what a cool looking Pokemon.